So the following session is with a client by the name of Amber. And Amber's session provides us a really good example of the tell the story technique or the story technique where I have her just tell me kind of what happened that day from beginning to end. The issue that Amber brings with her is um, a lot of sadness about the fact that she had a stillborn baby about four years prior to the session. So there was a lot of sadness. Um, she was faced with a decision that they knew the baby wasn't going to live. And so she delivered the baby at six months and the baby was stillborn and his name was Austin. And you will see there's a lot of tapping and there's a lot of sadness. But I have her actually tell me the story of that day where she had to be induced and have the baby from the time she gets to the hospital until after he's born and what happened after that and all the emotions. And there's a lot of words that are a big trigger for her. Um, we tap a little bit on songs that are a trigger for her after that day. She tells me the story of the funeral even. And we tap on some of those aspects too. So eventually she can go back, the, back through the day and just be okay with it and know that Austin, in her words, is now in God's hands. So it's a beautiful story to, um, to learn from. Amber, mm -hmm. thank you for coming today. Thank you. We have a bit of a sensitive topic that we um, want to work through today, and I honor that fact that you've come here to share that. So um, maybe we'll, I'll let you start there, maybe just explaining a little bit about why you're here today. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you might even start to cry just yeah. thinking about, because yeah. there, was, there was something that happened about four years ago for you where you had a stillborn, and that was a really hard process for you. Yes. Um, because he was diagnosed with spina bifida. Neuro two defect. Neuro two it's, defect. It, it's in, spina bifida is included into it, but yeah. it's the diagnosis itself is um, neuro two defect. I actually haven't got all of the diagnosis because of the fact um, McMaster called me about two years ago and said that we have his autopsy reports and you know we would like for you to come see them and I at that time had a two-year-old little girl that I had to focus on mm -hmm. or sorry a year and a half two years old and I wasn't about to bring myself back to all of that emotion of walking through that hospital again to find out actually what was wrong like I was because it was about about four or five months into your pregnancy you found out I found out that I couldn't but keep pretty much that was the only thing keeping him alive your body was keeping my him alive, was. and no matter what happened when he was born, he, was, he wasn't going to make it. Yeah. So you had to decide whether or not to have the baby sooner rather than later, because you could have carried him to full term, or, but knowing that he wasn't going to live anyway, you kind of had to make that decision. decision. Yeah. So what was... At 16. At, you were 16 years I was old. 16 years old. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's a tough job. That's a yeah. tough decision. Um, yeah. My mom, it, she kind of didn't know what to think of it. The father of the child didn't. He just wanted me to make the decision that I chose. So I chose to get induced on May first, two thousand six, uh -huh. and I was induced at seven or nine o'clock. Seven or nine o'clock in the morning. I think I arrived there at seven, so I got induced at nine. Uh -huh. um, it was a long day of morphine needles. Had an amniotesis um, at two fifteen in the morning. My water broke and it was red. It was supposed to be clear, but due to the openness of his body, it was. Because he was almost bleeding inside, he was, or he was so discolored. He was. I see, but I dream about it all the time. Mm -hmm. He was a dark burgundy with light. So, like, picture a red, a red baby with light colors here and there mm -hmm. kind of like a tie dye and what's the um what's the emotion that comes up when you just just that that's that image that you keep dreaming about you have a lot of, a dream about it a lot i have dreams about him i don't know whether it's him does he have a name did you know austin yeah. austin michael mm -hmm. and I, is this, this is just top right here i'm gonna start now the sadness 
Is it sadness? Sadness. Yes. It's sadness about Austin. It's just tat. We don't have to say anything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. No, it's tatness. It's sadness. It's sadness. sadness. Just let that be there. It's sadness. The sadness. The sadness. The sadness. The sadness. The sadness. The sadness about Austin. The sadness about Austin. And hold the image in your mind. The sadness about Austin. 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 How he looked when when he was delivered. Just hold that image. Okay. We're gonna close, open, look down hard to the right. Yeah, just breathe through it. Big circle with the eyes if you can. Gorgeous. Other direction. Yeah. And then keep tapping the back of your hand and just follow floor to ceiling. The sadness about Austin. The sadness about Austin. Okay, up, up, up. The sadness about Austin. 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 Sadness about Austin. And we'll just do karate chop points together. The sadness about Austin. The sadness about Austin. And just take a break for a minute. You have good breathing. I forget to breathe a lot of the time, <laughs> actually. It's actually, I think it just brought me back to a. Yeah, like, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you know? Can you check in with sadness again? Because it's going to be a, there's going to be a lot of layers to it. There's going to be a lot of different emotions to it. So maybe stay with the day that, the day that you had to deliver him. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and just stay with the image or you need to find a statement that, uh, that's a bit of a, uh, maybe a trigger for you. What's the, what's the, what was the hardest part about that day? My mom saying he wasn't a baby. Even you said my mom said he wasn't a baby. 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 Up a little bit. Yeah. But he was. But he was. To me he was. To me he was. To me he was. To me he was. My mom said he wasn't a baby. My mom said he wasn't a baby. But to me he was. But to me he was. My mom said it. What he wasn't a baby. My mom said he wasn't a baby because of how he looked, or because of the turn. Oh, because of the, oh, because of how far along you were. Um, the turn. My mom said he wasn't a baby. My mom said he wasn't a baby. But to me, he was. To me, he was. And that's what matters. And that's what matters. I really don't know the full reason why she'd say that. It doesn't really matter. I know. <laughs> my mom said he wasn't a baby. My mom said he wasn't a baby. But to me, he was. But to me, he was. Keep okay, tapping here. Floor to ceiling eyeball. My mom said he wasn't a baby. My mom said he wasn't a baby. But to me, he was. But to me, he was. And that's all that really matters. And that's all that matters. My mom said he wasn't a baby. My mom said he wasn't a baby. But to me, he was. But to me, he was. I don't really know. I don't really know why my mom said that. Why my mom said that. And that doesn't matter either. And that doesn't matter either. To me. To me. He was a baby. To me, he was a baby. To me, he was a baby. To me, he was a baby. My mom said he wasn't a baby. My mom said he wasn't a baby. But I think he was. But I know he was. I know he was. <laughs> he was my baby. He was my baby. Yeah. Back in. Uh. Kleenex. <laughs> Break. Kleenex. Yeah. Just say aloud, my mom said he wasn't a baby. My mom said he wasn't a baby. Can you give me a number on a scale of 1 to 10, how much that upsets you? At this moment or yeah. before? At this moment. At this moment. Probably about a 5. Okay. This remaining feeling. This remaining feeling. That I get. That I get when I think 
when I say my mom said he wasn't a baby. My mom said he wasn't a baby. This remaining feeling. This remaining feeling. My mom said he wasn't a baby. My mom said he wasn't a baby. But I know he was. But I know he was. Because I grew him inside of me. Because I grew him inside of me. This remaining feeling. This remaining feeling. My mom said he wasn't a baby. My mom said he wasn't a baby. This remaining feeling. This remaining feeling. My mom said he wasn't a baby. My mom said he wasn't a baby. But I know he was. But I know he was. I know he was. I know he was. And that's all that matters. And that's all that matters. Do you go back in? Uh, and then think the statement again or say the statement out loud again. My mom said he wasn't a baby. My mom said he wasn't a baby. Do you remember her saying that? Like, go back to the image in the hospital room or wherever you were. I was, oh, where was I? I was on the phone with her. You were on the phone with her? Because she told me my problem was my ex <laughs> and to get rid of him and all my problems were gone. Oh. Should have listened to her. But that day she still upset me by saying that he was not even a baby. Why do you think she said that? Because I defied her oh. in a lot of ways. How did you defy her? I hid my relationship with him oh. from her. He was 19 and I was 15. Mm -hmm. And it was one of my brother's friends who had been in jail, who mm -hmm. was going nowhere, had mm -hmm. tattoos all over, and she didn't high school him. dropout. Oh, yeah. And she didn't, she wanted her girl to have better because she knew I deserved better. And it took me a long time to figure out I deserved better, but I figured mm -hmm. it out. You figured it out. <laughs> and everything happens for a reason. And I think mm -hmm. that was God's way of telling me that I was not meant That's to be with thing. him. What's the, um, what's the feeling left when you say, my mom said he wasn't a baby? Can you scale That's it? That's her opinion. Oh. Just her opinion. <laughs> <laughs> a skill, um, I say it too. Yeah. This remaining feeling. This remaining feeling. My mom said he wasn't a baby. My mom said he wasn't a baby. This remaining feeling. This remaining feeling. My mom said. My mom said. That Austin wasn't a baby. That Austin wasn't a baby. My mom said. My mom said. That Austin wasn't a baby. That Austin wasn't a baby. This remaining feeling. This remaining feeling. Remaining feeling. My mom said. My mom said. Austin wasn't a baby. Austin wasn't a baby. Remaining feeling. Remaining feeling. My mom said. My mom said. That Austin wasn't Austin a baby. Austin wasn't a baby. Back of the hand. Her floor to ceiling eyeball. This remaining feeling. This remaining feeling. Mom said. Mom said. That Austin wasn't a baby. That Austin wasn't a baby. But maybe that was just her opinion. But maybe that was just her opinion. Maybe that was just her opinion. Maybe that was just her opinion. And maybe that's okay. And that's okay. Do you feel breathy? Um, and then, so you're on the phone with your mom, and she says, you know, Austin's not even a baby. I should have reacted <laughs> a different way, I guess. No. Not necessarily, but but do you feel different about it now? When you I do feel different about it now. Okay. Now I, that's her opinion. Okay. What else do you remember specifically about that day? Either right before the delivery, or like if you went through the... If you go through the day in sort of a sequence, if you go through the day in... Um... I remember going down to the cafeteria in my wheelchair because I had morphine um, hooked up to me in IVs, and there was a crying baby. And what does and that bring up for you? The fact that I didn't get to bring that baby home. 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 I remember that crying baby. I remember that crying baby. In the hallway? In the hallway. I didn't get to bring mine home. 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 I wanted to bring mine home. I wanted to bring mine home. I remember that crying baby in the hallway. I remember that crying baby in the hallway. I'm thinking I'm not going to bring mine home. I'm thinking I'm not going to bring mine home. I didn't get to bring my baby home. I didn't get to bring my baby home. The sad feeling. The sad feeling. The sadness. I didn't get to bring my baby home. I didn't get to bring my baby home. Back of the hand. Close. Open. Look down hard to the right. Look down hard to the left. And then make the biggest circle you can find. Forward just the other way. We'll do happy birthday together. One, two, three, four. Five. Good. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Keep tapping the back of your hand. The sadness. Just say the, the sadness. sadness. I didn't get to bring my baby home. I didn't get to bring my baby home. The sadness. The sadness. I didn't get to bring my baby home. I didn't get to bring my baby home. The sadness. The sadness. I didn't get to bring my baby home. I didn't get to bring my baby home. The sadness. The sadness. I didn't get to bring my baby home. I didn't get to bring my baby home. The sadness. The sadness. The sadness. The sadness. Maybe I can begin. Maybe I can begin. To let the sadness go. To let the sadness go. One breath at a time. One breath at a time. Slowly coming to a place. Slowly coming to a place. Of acceptance. Of acceptance. One breath at a time. One breath at a time. <laughs> Good. Release. Deep full breath in. Out. So in your mind, just go back to walking in the hallway. You're in the wheel. Sorry, you're, you're in the wheelchair, right? Sitting in the cafeteria. Sitting in the cafeteria, and you can hear another baby crying. Can you give me a remaining number? I'm not bringing my baby home. Two. Remaining feeling. This remaining feeling. I didn't get to bring my baby home. I didn't get to bring my baby home. This remaining feeling. This remaining feeling. I didn't get to bring my baby home. I didn't get to bring my baby home. This remaining feeling. This remaining feeling. I remember sitting in that cafeteria. I remember sitting in that cafeteria. Hearing that other baby cry. Hearing that other baby cry. And feeling that sadness. And feeling that sadness. That I wasn't going to bring my baby home. That I was not going to bring my baby home. This remaining sadness. This remaining, remaining sadness. I'm not going to bring my baby I'm home. I'm not going to bring my baby home. This remaining sadness. This remaining sadness. I didn't get to bring my baby home. I didn't get to bring my baby home. This remaining sadness. This remaining sadness. Floor to ceiling eye roll. I didn't get to bring my baby home. I didn't get to bring my baby home. Just keep tapping the back of the head. And this remaining sadness. This remaining sadness. Looking up, up, up. I didn't get to bring my baby home. I didn't get to bring my baby home. This remaining sadness. This remaining sadness. This remaining sadness. This remaining sadness. I didn't get to my, bring my baby home. I didn't get to bring my baby home. This remaining sadness. This remaining sadness. I didn't get to bring Austin home. I didn't get to bring Austin home. This remaining sadness. This remaining sadness. Maybe I can begin to let it go. Maybe I can begin to let it go. And still honor Austin for who he was. And still honor Austin for who he was. Yeah. <sighs> this remaining sadness. This remaining sadness. Good. Deep breath in. And out. And then go back to the image in your mind in the cafeteria. There's another baby crying. And just think or say out loud, I didn't get to bring Austin home. I didn't get to bring Austin home. So what happens with EFT is that the memory stays the same, and that's okay. And it doesn't take away any natural human responses, because you're a mother, right? So mm -hmm. there, there will always be um, some response to that, but can take away the, or alleviate rather, I prefer that word, the exaggerated emotional response that we still have years and years later, right? It's been mm -hmm. four years, you said. Four years, and it's, last week. And it still feels like it's yesterday, sometimes? Yeah, um, yeah, a lot of the time it still feels like it's yesterday. If you go back to that image, though, is it, is it what's remaining, or what comes up for you? The cafeteria. I didn't get to bring Austin home. Anger. Ah. This anger. This anger. Why are you angry? Why am I angry? Yeah. Because I... I didn't get to bring Austin home. No, because of him. This anger. 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 We're going to add in one more point. It's just the top of the ribs. It's a really good anger point right here. This anger. This anger. Did you angry at the situation? Angry at the fact that if it wasn't in his blood, it would have never happened. If it wasn't in his blood, it would never would have happened. It wasn't. This anger. This anger. This anger. This anger. This anger. This anger. Shouldn't have happened. Shouldn't have happened. Back of the hand. This anger. This anger. Close your eyes. Open. Down hard right. Down hard left. Big circle with the eyes. Gorgeous other way. And keep tapping the back of the hand, this anger. This anger. This anger. This anger. Shouldn't have happened. Shouldn't have happened. Good. Release this anger. This anger. This anger. This anger. This anger. This anger. 
This anger. This anger. Cory shot points together. This anger. This anger. Now we didn't scale it before we started. How angry on a scale of one to ten do you feel now? Do I feel now? Pretty much nothing because it's not my problem anymore. He's not my problem anymore. Mm -hmm. I have a healthy little girl. Oh, how old is she? She's three. <laughs> Serenity Faith Marie. Oh, wonderful. Her middle name is Faith because she had to have. I had to have faith in myself, hard. yeah, to be able to have a baby. Uh -huh. So. So let's go back to the day. What did you do after the cafeteria? Um, ate and went back to um, the room, mm -hmm. I think. And probably fell asleep, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I was on morphine, so I didn't, didn't really feel a lot. I remember stopping the morphine at 11 p.m. It just for some, I want it to know what it was going to be like to give birth mm -hmm. because he deserved a fair chance, you know, like he was a baby. So I wanted to have the most realist birth Experience I could. Mm -hmm. and Not numbing out. Exactly. From... I wanted to be able to feel the pain and, mm -hmm. oh, I felt it. So <laughs> <laughs> I felt the burning and the pain. Yeah. There was no burning with my second one. But with him, maybe because he wasn't a full-size baby, that, that I couldn't really feel the pain with serenity because it was just an overwhelming amount of pain in the front of my body. Mm -hmm. Whereas with Austin, it was more the inside of my body feeling pain. What, like your heart almost? Mm -hmm. The emotional pain. Yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, what is that like for you when you think about it now? It's like a heaviness almost. I, that's what I feel or sense. Mm-hmm. It depends on my days, to be honest with you. Some days I can put it out of my mind and say it would only be a three or four that day. And how does it feel now, though, when you what? think about it? I'd say five. And how would you describe it? Like a heavy feeling in your chest? Or just emotional pain? I like a heavy, heavy of a chest. This, this heavy feeling in my chest. 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 Maybe I can let it go. Maybe I can let it go. One breath at a time. One breath at a time. I still honor and respect Austin. And still honor and respect Austin. For the beautiful baby he was. For the beautiful baby he was. This heavy feeling in my chest. This heavy feeling in my chest. Maybe I can let it go. Maybe I can let it go. One breath at a time. One breath at a time. All this emotional pain. All this emotional pain. I'm storing in my chest. I'm storing in my chest. All this emotional pain. All this emotional pain. I'm storing in my chest. I'm storing in my chest. Maybe I can let that be lifted in light. Maybe I can let that be lifted in light. Close. Open. Down hard right. Down hard left. Big circle with the eyes. Gorgeous. Other direction. Let's hum Canada together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stop and count to five. One, two, two three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> this heavy feeling in my chest. This heavy feeling in my chest. All this emotional pain. All this emotional pain. Stored in my chest. Stored in my chest. This heavy feeling in my chest. This heavy feeling in my chest. Maybe I can move it up and out. Maybe I can move it up and out. With my breath. With my breath. Good. This heavy feeling in my chest. Heavy feeling in my chest. Maybe I can move it up and out. Maybe I can move it up and out. With my breath. And um, using my breath. breath. This heavy feeling in my chest. This heavy feeling in my chest. All this emotional pain I'm carrying around. All this emotional pain I'm carrying around. Storing it in my chest. Storing it in my chest. Maybe I can move it up and out. Maybe I can move it up and out. Good. One breath at a time. 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 Good. Deep full breath in. Oh. And <laughs> say that this check in and search for that heavy feeling in your chest. Scale it on a scale of one to ten if you can. And if it's moved, let me know if it's moved or if it's different or if it's changed. If it's... <laughs> um, kind of. 
kind of even, it just kind of dissipated. Um, yeah. Okay. Is there, um, is there any, um, when you think about what's happened, is there any grief or sense of loss or um, someone took that away from me kind of feeling? No. I've always believed that it happened for a reason. Oh. I've had to tell myself that. Not that you've had to, and instead of telling yourself that, I want to search for what you really feel inside, and it's okay, okay. to honor and let that feeling be there. Um, and you might actually really feel, no, it, it really happened for a reason, I'm okay with that, but I'm looking for, for buried grief or sadness or loss, sense of loss, or um, there's a little bit of anger that, that shouldn't have happened. Yeah. I think that was more of anger towards the father and the uh -huh. child, though. Um, not anger toward God, but no. anger that... I was angry that he had taken him from me, but I had learned um, just years ago, I came to the fact with, no, it's okay, it happened, I can't let that bother me, but yet I still let it take over me some days mm -hmm. I let it be the only thing my day could be totally ruined because I don't have him here mm -hmm. but I feel selfish because I have my daughter oh I don't know if that makes that's sense a, that's to okay you. how selfish do you feel on a scale of one to ten you feel selfish for for feeling that I miss him oh you don't think that's right I don't think it's right in the sense that God gave me another gift. Oh. I should be happy with what I have. Oh, so every time you've had a loss. on the on what uh, had happened. So it's almost like you're not feeling grateful for your daughter. So you're being selfish. Even though I don't want to feel grief because that would be selfish of me to do so. Even though... Does that, does that, does that make sense for you? Yeah. Yeah. Even though... Even though... Part of me doesn't want to feel that grief. Part of me doesn't want to feel that grief. I'd be selfish if I did. I'd be selfish if I did. Because God blessed me with a daughter. Because God blessed me with a daughter. I should just be grateful for that. I should be grateful for that. Regardless of what's happened with Austin. Regardless of what's happened with Austin. I'm going to honor my feelings that are still there. I'm going to honor my feelings that are still there. I'm going to love and accept myself anyway. I'm going to love and accept myself anyway. Fully and completely. Fully and completely. Don't want to honor those feelings. I don't want to honor those feelings. That would be selfish. That would be selfish. Don't want to feel that grief. Don't want to feel that grief. That would be selfish. That would be selfish. I have a daughter now. I have a daughter now. I should just be happy with that. I should just be happy with that. And not honor those feelings. And on all of those feelings. And not honor those feelings of and grief. And not honor those feelings. Don't want to feel that grief. I don't want to feel that grief. I don't want to feel that grief. I don't want to feel that. That would be selfish, wouldn't that it? That would be selfish. That would be selfish. That would be selfish. But maybe it's okay. But maybe it's okay. Just to feel those feelings. Just to feel those feelings. So I can move them up and out. So I can move them up and out. Good floor is healing eye will. Maybe I can feel those feelings. Maybe I can feel those feelings. So I can move them up and out. So I can move them up and out. All these feelings I have. All these feelings I have. About losing Austin. About losing Austin. Not sure if I want to feel them. I'm not sure if I want to feel them. Because that might be selfish. Because that might be selfish. Because I have a beautiful daughter. Because I have a beautiful daughter. I should just be grateful for her. I should be grateful for her. But it's okay. But it's okay. If I still need to process. If I still need to process. Some of those emotions about Austin. Some of those emotions about Austin. I'm sure my daughter. I'm sure my daughter. Would be okay with that. Would be okay with that. <laughs> I'm sure my daughter. I'm sure my daughter. Would be okay with that. Would be okay with that. If there's anything left. If there's any, if anything left, left. For me to process. For me to process. With what happened with Austin. With what happened with Austin. Did go back in and out. And then just say it's really selfish for, if I was going to feel. It's really selfish for me to feel grief about Austin. It's really selfish for me to feel grief about Austin. Does that still feel true, or is that? No, it doesn't feel true. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense that it doesn't feel true? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So maybe it's okay. Seems silly. Yeah. Would your daughter be okay if you needed to? Because sometimes we'll bury sadness or we'll bury loss. Not, there may or may not be any, but we just want to leave that door open to, to 
I think she would be okay with that because as weird as it sounds, she's, I don't know if it's her just being a three-year-old, but she's told me she has a brother. Mm. I've never told her that she has a brother. Uh, did she so, know anything about Austin? Nothing, nothing. She's huh. three, so yeah. I don't want to, you have a brother. Yeah. You know, she's three years old. I don't want to overwhelm her. her. So when she does have she a does, brother and sister, that. she knows that the brother and sister are here every day with yes. us. Maybe she's overheard you speaking. Possibly to that is. Yeah, it could be or her on her father's side. Right. So yeah. don't know about that. Mm-hmm. So maybe we can go back now to the day in the hospital. As you replay the memory, because okay. I think we got up to the point where you had gone to sleep. When you were on the morphine and stuff, was that after Austin was born or before? During. During. Like during the labor process. Okay. I was pretty much from 9 o'clock in the morning to 2.45 a.m. 2.45 a.m. and was, he was born dead. How do you feel when you say that? Real. Um, because that is the truth. It's reality. Is there an emotion connected to that? Do you remember seeing him? Mm-hmm. Remember, I asked to, I made sure he was a boy. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that make sure. the ultrasound was right. If so, it was right. Mm-hmm. It was right. He was born dad. Any remaining sadness? Give me a number. Three. Is it grief or is it loss or is it sadness? How would you describe it? Sadness. This remaining sadness. This remaining sadness. This remaining sadness. This remaining sadness. Oh, yeah. This remaining sadness. This remaining sadness. Right after he was born. Right after he was born. I just wanted to make sure he was a boy. I just wanted to make sure he was a boy. <laughs> this remaining sadness. 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 Maybe I can let it go. Maybe I can let it go. Just one breath at a time. Just one breath at a time. It's okay to let go of the sadness. It's okay to let go of the sadness. And still honor who Austin wants. And still honor who Austin wants. Okay. And check in with sadness. Did you get to hold him? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I laid with him for about an hour. And then I asked the nurse to take him. And my ride came. And... They would have loved to see him, but I said no. So you were the only one who got to see him? Um, and the nurses, obviously. The father as well. Yeah. He held him as well. Um, what did it feel like to say, I I got to hold Austin? Or the memory of maybe giving him to I'm the nurse? I'm very happy I held him. Mm-hmm. And I'm very glad I gave him to the nurse when I did. Um, what made you decide? Now. Nah, decide to to give to the nurse what was the you were just ready to let go I was ready to let go I had to and I might as well do it sooner than later I guess how does it feel to say I had to let go give me a number about an eight I had to let go 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 I didn't want to let go. I didn't want to let go. You didn't want to let go. I didn't want to let go. I didn't want to let go. I didn't want to let go. But I had to let go. But I had to let go. I didn't want to let go that day. 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 I didn't want to give Austin back to the nurses. I didn't want to give Austin to the nurses. I knew that'd be the last time I would see him. I knew that would be the last time I'd see him. Just let it be there. But remember to breathe. Okay. Didn't want to let go. Didn't want to let go. Close. Open. Down hard right. Down hard left. Big circle. Quarters. Other way. And then just keep tapping, floor to ceiling, eye roll. I didn't want to let go. 
I didn't want to let go. I didn't want to let go that day. I didn't want to let go that day. I didn't want to let go of Austin. 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 I didn't want to let go that day. I didn't want to let go that day. I didn't want to give Austin back to the nurses. I didn't want to give Austin back. 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 Why do I have to give him back? Why did I have to give him back? Why do I have to give him back? Why do I have to give him back? I don't want to give Austin back. I don't want to give Austin back. I knew it would be the last time I would see him. I knew it would be the last time I would see him. I had to give Austin back. I had to give Austin back. I had to give him back that day. 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 Mm. I'm just checking. Pretty next break. <laughs> It's probably closer to a 10. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's like an 8 and then we start tapping. It's like it's a 10. <laughs> well, when I didn't think of that was the last time. Oh, you didn't? The only time I you wouldn't see him again. Mm -hmm. Give me a number when you say that. 10. Still a 10. <laughs> never going to see him again. I'm never going to see him again. Never got to see him again. I never got to see him again. That was the last time. That was the last time. That was the last time I saw him. That was the last time I saw him. I had to let him go. I had to let him go. You got to hold him for an hour. I ha got to hold him for an hour. And then I had to let him go. And then I had to let him go. And that was the last time I saw him. And that was the last time I saw him. Of all the sadness. Of all the sadness. All the sadness. All the sadness. I had to let him go. I had to let him go. All the sadness. All the sadness. All the sadness. All the sadness. I had to let him go. 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 And keep tapping the back of the hand. This remaining sadness. This remaining sadness. I had to let him go. I had to let him go. That was the last time I saw him. The last time I saw him. Yeah. That was going to be the last time I saw him. It was the last time I saw him. This remaining sadness. The remaining sadness. Last time I saw him. Last time I saw him. It's remaining sadness. It's remaining sadness. Last time I saw him. Last time I saw him. Maybe I can give myself permission. Maybe I can give myself permission. To slowly let go of that sadness. To slowly let go of that sadness. One breath at a time. One breath at a time. Still honoring who Austin was. Still honoring who Austin was. Still honoring his life. Still honoring his life. And knowing. And knowing. That Austin. That Austin. Would probably want me to let go of the sadness. Would probably want me to let go of the sadness. Maybe a little bit at a time. Maybe a little bit at a time. Deep pull back in. Uh, and then checking with sadness or the image, the memory, that part of the day. Give me a number. One. Wow. Two. The most. One or two. 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 Mm -hmm. 1.5 <laughs> What's the uh, is, it, is it sadness? Is it like a if it's, if it's something physical in your body Then let me know Like a heaviness in your heart Or a pain in your I feel a relief mm. that's, that's good yeah. I don't know if I should feel that But I do Even though if I Even though I don't know Even though I don't know If I should feel relief If I should feel relief Because I felt sadness for so long Because I felt sadness for so long For over four years now For over four years now. I'm not sure if it's safe I'm not sure if it's safe To let go of the sadness To let go of the sadness Regardless of that Regardless of that I love and accept myself I love and accept myself Fully and completely Fully and completely I know I did the best I could I know I did the best I could And made the best choices that I felt And made the best choices I felt That were right That were right And that whole decision with Austin. And the whole decision was Austin. Mm -hmm. It's remaining sadness. It's remaining sadness. It's remaining sadness. It's remaining sadness. Remaining sadness. It's remaining sadness. I had to let Austin go that day. I had to let Austin go that day. It's remaining sadness. It's remaining sadness. That was the last time. That was the last time. I was going to see him. I was going to see him. It's remaining sadness. It's remaining sadness. That was the last time I saw Austin. It's the last time I saw Austin. It's remaining sadness. Remaining sadness. That was the last time I saw Austin. It's the last time I saw Austin. 
It's remaining sadness. It's remaining sadness. It's remaining sadness. It's remaining sadness. It's remaining sadness about Austin. It's remaining sadness about Austin. That was the last time I saw him. It was the last time I saw him. It's remaining sadness about Austin. 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 It was the last time I saw him. It was the last time I saw him. I had to give him back to the nurses. I had to give him back to the nurses. But I got to hold him for an hour. But I got to hold him for an hour. Oh, that was pretty nice. And that was pretty nice. I'm really happy I got to do that. I'm really happy I got to do that. Mm-hmm. And I made the best decision I could. And I made the best decision I could. I gave Austin back to the nurses. I gave Austin back to the nurses. For the last time. For the last time. When I felt I was ready. When I felt I was ready. When I felt it was right. When I felt it was right. Deep pull back in. Out. And go back to the image of handing Austin back to the nurses. And the memory stays the same. I think about that changes. Nope. That's your next thought or feeling about it. The heartache isn't there. I feel like I gave him back to God. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Is there any heartache left? Can you remember? Two. Even though I still, because we haven't done heartache, even though I still have some of this heartache, it's, even though I still have some of this heartache, I'm going to honor and respect that. I'm going to honor and respect that. At the same time, at the same time, give my body and mind permission. Give my body and mind permission. To slowly let that go. To slowly let that go. One breath at a time. One breath at a time. So that I can be free. So that I can be free. And be there for my beautiful daughter. And so I can be there for my beautiful daughter. Okay. This remaining heartache. This remaining heartache. This remaining heartache. This remaining heartache. This remaining heartache about Austin. 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 This remaining heartache. This remaining heartache about Austin. This remaining heartache. This remaining heartache about Austin. This remaining heartache about Austin. This remaining heartache about Austin. Maybe I can begin to let it go. Maybe I can begin to let it go. Still honoring who he was. Still honoring who he was. Do you pull back in? <laughs> and then check in with Heart Inc. I got serenity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is there any guilt? No okay. guilt. No. It's okay. good. No. Never felt guilt. In the past four years you've never felt it at all? No, I don't I don't think so. It's good. Any loss or grief? Sadness still. No, just knowing that he'll always still be there looking down. Mm-hmm. I don't feel any sadness or grief. Or not even as close to as miserable about <laughs> it. <laughs> if you finish the day, okay. going back to the memory, we'll just slowly go through the whole day and the whole memory. Okay. So you've given Austin back to the nurses, and um, then you kind of get ready to leave back yeah. shortly after that. Mm-hmm. Was there a funeral for him? Yes. Um, I had him cremated. And How do you feel just to say that? Is there a number? It actually doesn't hurt. Even if it's a one. Maybe a two. Mm-hmm. This oh. this remaining hurt. This remaining hurt. I had to have Austin cremated. I had to have Austin cremated. This remaining hurt. This remaining hurt. I had to have Austin cremated. I had to have Austin cremated. This remaining hurt. This remaining hurt. I had to have Austin cremated. I had to have Austin cremated. That was a tough decision to make. It was a tough decision to make. It was a tough decision to make. It was a tough decision to make. And it hurt to make that decision. And I hurt to make that decision. He was so little. He was so little. This remaining hurt. This remaining hurt. I had to have Austin cremated. I had to have Austin cremated. And I made the best decision I could. And I made the best decision I could. I made the best decision I could. I made the best decision I could. Be pulled back in. Out. So you went home from the hospital that day, and then how long after did you have to start making plans for the funeral? 
it was all in that afternoon I think it was um you know do you want to have an autopsy and I said yes so of course I want to know what's wrong with them right. but if I knew they were gonna call two late years later two I years. Would, two years later it took for results um, but how do you feel about that I don't want to know I don't want to huh. I don't want to know those that if it was two months later, you might have been interested. Yeah, yeah, if it was a little sooner, I would have. But I had already been trying to move on with my life yes. at that point, not wanting to go back. Um, so I they went to George you... Dart Funeral Home, uh -huh. and they were wonderful. I do believe I had to wait over a week to have him cremated or something. Uh -huh. And then I went and got him, and... I do believe it was May 13th, 2006. I had a, a little memorial for him. Mm. Um, family and friends were invited. And How was it feel to say that? Okay. Totally like okay? One, not even. Um, friends and family came. Can I had a pastor. Just tap Friday Shop Point as you okay. talk about it. A pastor uh -huh. came and said a few words. Um... And I had said a, a speech, well, I had wrote Austin a note, <laughs> and I read that. How does that feel? What did the note say? It said that I was turning my life around for him, mm -hmm. wasn't able to take him home, um, that I will always remember him, that I was so happy to have him, but he was in better arms. How does it feel to say I had to write Austin a note? I decided to write him a note so that I could get it out of my head, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but so, is there any emotional charge to that? Um, like a two? I had to write Austin a note. I had to write Austin a note. Reading that note. Reading that note. At his funeral. At his funeral. Reading that note at his funeral. Reading that note at his funeral. I just wanted him to know. I just wanted him to know. That I was happy I had him. That I was happy I had him. And it wouldn't change anything. And it wouldn't change anything. Is that right? Yeah. I was happy I had him. I was happy I had him. And it wouldn't change anything. And it wouldn't change anything. And he was in better hands now. And he was in better hands. And that I was going to turn my life around. And that I was going to turn my life around. That note that I wrote for Austin at the funeral. The note that I wrote for Austin at the funeral. I did the best I could. I did the best I could. And I would accept myself. And I accept myself. Fully and completely. Fully and completely. Okay. And go back to the story, wherever we left off. We were, you were reading the notes the funeral um, there's a lot of people mm -hmm. and pretty much it was done after I read because I remember my mom had gotten upset that day because she wasn't asked to say anything because well I had asked her and she said she didn't want to say anything because hmm. the dad's mother did oh, okay she said you know you're a baby and I loved you. I don't really know what she said, but um, I really, I wasn't focusing on what she was. <laughs> you know, I had my own focus going yeah. on. Um, I had actually gotten a tattoo that day mm. to on my neck with an angel with a blue dove and nothing else is colored. It says Austin mm. and a blue dove. And the angel is letting the blue dove mm. up into heaven. Mm. So I felt that was kind of a little bit of help for me to mm -hmm. you know he's gonna be up in heaven, it's okay. To symbolize sort of letting him go. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got it that day. Um, after the service was over, I went and hung out with my friends. I I did everything I could to keep my mind off of it. Because <laughs> <laughs> keeping your mind on it was it was um, painful, right? It was. It. I remember sitting in a car, going to help someone get a boat, and some Oasis song came on, and I just started crying. <laughs> and it was the day after it had happened. Right. So it was, I was just crying over everything. Yeah. 
um, and how do you feel now, even if, as you remember that song in the car that day? I'm fine with it. I love the song. <laughs> it makes it gives me a smile to my yeah. face. I still remember it. Um, there's this one song. I don't know who sings it, but it's "Where Oh Where Can My Baby Be?" Mm-hmm. The Good Lord took her away from me. Oh yes. Um, and now it says, "The Good Lord, Lord took her away from me," but I still can relate to this yes, song. Yes, couple weeks ago it was on and I just turned it off and can you please turn that song off it what does it bring up for you sadness this remaining sadness this remaining sadness that song that song this remaining sadness that remaining sadness sadness. that song where's my baby where's my baby it's remaining sadness. It's remaining sadness. Just let it be there. It's remaining sadness. It's remaining sadness. When I think of that song. When I think of that song. Where is my baby? Where is my baby? It's remaining sadness. It's remaining sadness. Where is Where is my baby? Where is my baby? It's remaining sadness. It's remaining sadness. Where is my baby? Where is my baby? That song. That song. Just triggers that sadness for me. Just triggers that sadness for me. Come back of the hand. Close. Open. Down hard right. Down hard left. Big circle. Gorgeous other way. Keep tucking the back of your hand. This remaining sadness. This remaining sadness. That song. That song. Where's my baby? Where's my baby? This remaining sadness. That song. Oh, sorry. Mm-hmm. Remaining, remaining sadness. Remaining sadness. Remaining sadness. Maybe I can let it go. Maybe I can let it go. One breath at a time. One breath at a time. It's remaining sadness. It's remaining sadness. Oh, some of it's still there. Some of it's still there. I can feel it. I can feel when it. When I think of that song. When I think of that song. Where is my baby? Where is my baby? It's remaining sadness. It's remaining sadness. Maybe I can let it go. Maybe I can let it go. One breath at a time. One breath at a time. Maybe I can let it go. Maybe I can let it go. One breath at a time. One breath at a time. (sighs) What was the name of the song again? You don't know the name of the artist. I just remember where, where can my baby be? The good Lord took her away from me. Um, And I just turned it as quick as I could. (laughs) Didn't want to hear it. What's the number left? Let me think of it. A two. Okay. It's remaining sadness. It's remaining sadness. That song. That song. It's remaining sadness. That remaining sadness. Turn that song off. Turn that song off. Turn that song off. Turn that song off. I don't want to hear it. 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 Turn that song off. Turn that song off. It's remaining sadness. It's remaining sadness. Turn that song off. Turn that song off. It's remaining sadness. It's remaining sadness. Turn that song off. Turn that song off. Fast as you can. As fast as you can, turn that song off. Turn that song off. I don't want to hear it. I do not 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 want to hear it. Turn that song off. Turn that song off. I do not want to hear it. I do not want to hear it. It's remaining sadness. Remaining sadness. Turn that song off. Turn the song off. I do not want to hear it. I do not want to hear it. It's remaining sadness. Remaining sadness. In karate chop place. Turn that song off. Turn that song off. And just say, turn that song off, I don't want to hear it. Turn that song off, I don't want to hear it. What's left? Not the song. <laughs> um, is it okay? Is it yeah, just a song? it's What's, okay. It's a song. Where aware, where aware can my baby be? What's the next line? The good Lord took her away, away from me. For a reason I have. Mm-hmm. You know <laughs> For a reason. Just say the good Lord. The good Lord took him away from me. The good Lord took him away from me. How does that feel? Okay. Mm-hmm. Even if it's a one or a two. Even it's okay. Mm. Okay. So and you're still left with that. It's it's okay that it happened, you know, and it happened, and and that's okay. Like I don't have to um, experience grief every day because of it and sometimes we don't want to let go of grief Mm -hmm. sometimes grief and sadness are the hardest to let go of for people because it's like if there's a a part of our brain that thinks like if I let go of the grief or the sadness about a loss of another human being it's like I'm not honoring and respecting that human being anymore Mm -hmm. so um, and we try to keep them alive by keeping our sadness or our grief alive 
Yawning's a good thing. Okay. I yawn a lot when I... <laughs> um, so sometimes we're like, if I hold on to the grief, then I can hold on to that 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 baby or that, that, that loss okay. that I had. So it's okay to still honor and respect that they were here and that, that we had that uh, experience with them. Mm-hmm. But continuing to make ourselves suffer um, doesn't bring them back either. No. Right? No. So. And that's why I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> because I needed to learn how to deal with it. And yeah. I put it off. I don't need anything. I don't need anything. It's fine. I'll do it on my own. I'll do it on my own. But really, and there might be more. Techni- it's focus you you in, and it, I I need something like that. Yeah, because there might be other things that come up. Whether or not it's a song, maybe it's like you're walking through a department store and you happen to go by the baby section, mm-hmm. and then you feel the trigger again. You feel it come up again, and that's where like. I don't get to buy any of those things, or I, I got to buy them for my daughter, but I didn't get to buy those things for Austin. I didn't mm-hmm. get to buy those things for Austin, right? Like, yeah. So whenever you find those triggers, because there's probably a hundred different aspects that like are connected to the the sadness and the grief, but I think we got, I uh, think we did good. Quite a few of them today. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it'll definitely help me. Yeah. Well, thanks for being brave. Have. Thank you. <laughs> I I like this opportunity. Definitely. Awesome. Well, my pleasure. Thank you very much.